Good morning, friends. It's Miss Aisha, and today I'm going to read you a story called A Trip on Dinosaur Airlines. That's the title of the story, and the author is Claire Daniel. She wrote the words in the story, and the person who drew the book is called The Illustrator. Yes, the illustrator drew the pictures. And this illustrator is Chris Lynch. He drew all the pictures. So, what part of the book is this? The front cover. Good job. And this is the back cover. Yes. And this is the spine. The spine does what? Yes, holds the pages together. Yes. Okay, so let's begin. Mom woke me up when it was still dark. Get up, she said. It's time to go on vacation. That's right, I said. We're going to Dinosaur World. Boring said my sister. My sister and I got into the car. Then I noticed our luggage. Then I knew this would not be an ordinary trip. Each bag looked just like a dinosaur egg. Wow, look at their, their luggage. See their bags? Looks like a dinosaur egg. Cool. When we arrived at the airport, three... Oh, sorry. There were dinosaurs everywhere. We walked up to the ticket counter. How many companies are you with? The dinosaur asked my mother. Are you all relatives? She asked again. Yes, mom said. Why do you ask? All families travel in the same group of airplanes. Go through gate two. She announced. I didn't know what she meant. But I soon found out. Let's see, they're at the Dino Airlines. We each got on a Dino plane. Mom's was enormous. You have a very sturdy air airplane, the pilot told Mom. This is your lunch. Don't spill it. See her lunch? She's on her dino line, her dino plane. My sister's dino plane was tiny. Use this cassette to listen to the safety of rules, the pilot told her. I will fall off, my sister yelled. No, you will not. She's sturdy and fast, the pilot boasted. Off they went up through the clouds. Wow. See them? Dad's dino plane was different. The luggage handlers hung the bags on the dinosaur's back. We never lose luggage, the pilot said. That's when I saw my dinosaur. It had big teeth. It roared a little. Will he eat me? I wondered. Don't worry, the pilot smiled. You will be very safe. Our dino planes are well fed. We have never lost a passenger. Okay. You see his dino plane? It's very big. And his teeth are really, really large. I hopped on top of the dinosaur's back. Wait! The clerk yelled. Don't forget your things. She handed me a bag. I put it in my backpack and climbed on. Then we were off and soaring in the direction of Dinosaur World. I wish I could say that I saw a lot on the ride, but I didn't. The ride was so smooth, I fell asleep. See, he fell asleep on the dino plane. 
I woke up. Everything looked so normal. That was an amazing ride, I said to my parents. My father yawned. <sighs> you thought so, he said. Where are we now, I asked. We're going to the hotel, my sister said. Look, my dad said. He pointed to a large sign that read, Dinosaur World. There it is. Boring, my sister said. We can go there first thing, first thing this afternoon, my mother said. Look, guys, they made it to Dinosaur World. They're so happy. They're in a taxi cab. And they're ready to have some fun. I looked at Dinosaur World. I was beginning to agree with my sister. I had had enough dinosaurs to last me for a while. How about Ocean World, I asked. My sister clapped. Yeah, let's go there. I guess they're tired of dinosaurs. That was exactly where we went. We had a really good time, too. We liked it so much, we went each day. We didn't see another dinosaur the rest of the week. See? They love seeing the dolphins. They were tired of those dinosaurs. We now like a, we now like fish a lot. I just hope our trip home will not be very wet. See? It's like going to the aquarium. V N. So now they're at the Sailfish Airlines. So cool. So they had a good time in um Dino World. V N. V N. Hi, I hope you like this story.